My name's Sean Paling, I'm a scientist. I work here in the Bowlby Underground Science Facility at Bowlby Mine, uh, and I'm involved in the Cosmic 100 exhibit. Where we are right now is uh, we're actually one kilometre below the Earth's surface here. We're in Bowlby Underground Science Facility. Um, this is a laboratory that's dedicated both to understanding cosmic rays but also getting away from them. We've got a kilometre of rock above our heads and that kilometre of rock shields us from a lot of the cosmic rays you get on the surface. So essentially it's a very, very quiet environment and there's lots of science you can do in a place where you can get away from cosmic rays. The sort of science we do here uh, is a real mixture, everything from complicated mathematics, doing computing, building things, but also, as you can see, we're, in a, in a, we're actually in a mine here and in a lab, so um, there's lots of much more rough engineering, dirty work down here as well. What inspired me to be a scientist was um, uh, very early on, when I was, uh, I don't know, 12 or something like that was was reading popular science books and I got really interested in uh, in, in the, the very idea that you could question how nature works at the very smallest level uh, and it just it just amazed me that if I didn't work in the this field uh, and this field is uh, astrophysics and cosmic ray studies I think I would like to work in medical imaging um, and partly because a lot of the equipment we use in the sort of study we're doing down here is very similar to medical imaging, so it would be very useful. Um, so medical imaging, if it wasn't that, I would like, of course, to be an astronaut, but I think I'm a bit old. In my free time, I like to do a lot of rock climbing. Uh, I also have a dog uh, who loves to play frisbee. The first science I remember doing was probably biology at school, uh, dissecting a cow's eye, which I thought was uh, horrible. My advice to anyone wanting to become a scientist and starting science would be, um, don't be frightened of it, uh, spend time uh, trying to really understand what's going on. You've got to kind of enjoy questioning what's going on and the process of, 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 of slowly understanding it. So, so what's the best thing about being a scientist? Uh, there's many different things about being a scientist. Some people like some things, some like others. I think I like it when, uh, when you can use your mind and use often maths as well to describe things. You know, you have to use maths in science sometimes. If you learn it in stages, it's not so bad. But sometimes if you've got a, an equation that you've built that describes your, what you're studying, it, it becomes a wonderful thing and you become very proud of it. And sometimes the more complicated it looks to other people, the better you feel. I quite like that. <laughs>